Hi, my name is James Charbonneau. I'm with the Physics and Astronomy Department here at UBC, and I mostly teach first-year students. So this kind of this noise, like... So what's being recorded there is actually a traveling sine wave. One of the things I find really exciting about teaching first year is students often tell me that they don't like physics, or they think it's boring, or they're scared of the equations. And I really like thinking about the words around the equations. The equations are important, but physics is about ideas. And I really like telling students about these ideas and sharing them with them. And when they get the deeper concepts, it's so exciting. And they have that aha moment. When you're online, it can feel really lonely. And it can feel like there's nobody else learning with you. There's nobody else teaching. And one of the things that we've really done is make sure that the classes that we do have together are really interactive. So. You know, there's chat going on on the side, people are talking to each other, people are talking to the prof. I can ask you questions through a polling system. And so it's not a lonely experience. There's a lot of human interaction, not only with the prof, but with your classmates. Okay, okay. Uh... There's another part of the course that happens on your own time. So I'll make videos about interesting things that I think supplement or add a lot of flavor to the material in the course. Divided by the area. I know a lot of students are really worried about keeping on top of their material in an online course. And we actually designed the course such that it has a bunch of little things to keep on top of instead of just being set loose and adrift. We're really trying to help you be on task and we do that through support. Uh, we're there to help you. It was, it was really nice to be in class. One of the funny things about being online is you actually probably have easier access to your prof and your TAs through virtual office hours. It's nice that everyone's super um, interactive too. You don't have to travel to the campus. You don't have to go to their office. You don't have to knock on their door. It's an open office hour that anybody can come into and ask questions. You can ask questions in chat. You can turn on your microphone if you want. You can have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So there's a lot of options to actually interact with a person. It would be interesting to see the labs as well, like <clears throat> what they would do with that. So online labs in physics are going to be a little different. So usually in a lab, you have a piece of apparatus and you're taking some data. For an online lab, what we've done is we've built a bunch of simulations. We've either written them ourselves or we're using simulations that already exist. And you're going to take the data using those simulations, and then you're going to analyze the data just like you would normally. A lot of the first year lab experience is about learning how to analyze data, manipulate it, think about uncertainties. And so that's all still going to happen. It's just your data collection is going to happen through these simulations rather than having uh, to do the physical swinging of a pendulum or whatever your lab is. I'm always really excited for the first year students. I'm always really excited to have all this brand new energy coming to the university. First year students are so excited to be here. They ask so many questions. The way that we think about education in UBC Science is so inclusive. It's such a team. The best researchers are here. The teaching community is really close with each other. I personally am really happy and proud to be part of, part of this university. Welcome to UBC, congrats on getting in. Uh, I might not see you right away, but I'm really looking forward to seeing you online in September.